Hi, I'm Jay with AMC Foam, and today we're gonna to talk about some different types of ICF bracing systems. So this is the Zont ICF bracing system from Fabform. They're also the makers of Fast Foot. It relies on these Zont brackets. So your horizontal whaler sits on the bracket, then your vertical strong back, and then it cam locks into position that puts tension on that and straightens out your wall. It utilizes as well this Zuckle turnbuckle, and this is drill adjustable for your wall alignment. It breaks down into these small, easy to transport crates, but you gotta keep in mind in comparison to plumb wall or giraffe, it'll still transport about the same because you do need your dimensional lumber two by fours in order to set up the bracing. Because the strong back is stood out from the wall by three and a half inches by these two by four whalers, it allows you to sail past details like this cast in place ledger. So with a giraffe or a plumb wall system, you would need to build out your wall, sort of fur it out so that the strong back is stood out from the wall to go past that detail. So giraffe ICF bracing breaks down into individual parts. So we start by putting our strong back on the wall, then we attach our brace, and then we put our scaffold platform on. This makes it a little bit more versatile. We can use it in different ways. We don't just have to brace diagonally down. We can go straight out towards a bang. We can even take this brace and we can stand it up vertically and use it like traditional shoring jack for cast in place insulated floor systems like Fortress or light deck. Because it breaks down into its individual pieces, it's lighter to move around on site. The way that we adjust the wall with giraffe is by twisting this screw jack here and we can pull the wall in or out. So this is Plumwall ICF bracing. It's an all-in-one bracing system. What that means is it unfolds from itself. You stand it up against the wall, stake in the foot pad, clip in the scaffold, and it's ready to go. It comes down very similarly, pull it off the wall, it folds into itself. Uh, one trade-off with that compared to some of the other systems that break down to individual parts is Plumwall is a little bit heavier to carry around on site, but there's way less individual parts to keep track of or lose. Uh, there's some pins that clip it together, but these are easily replaceable if any go missing. Plumwall does not have an adjustment in the center of the brace. Instead, it's at the top of the brace, which means that it can be adjusted from the top of the scaffolding. In theory, one person could be straightening the wall while adjusting it themselves. Uh, just makes straightening the wall at the end of the pour go a little bit faster. Hopefully that gives you a little bit of an idea of how you might select a certain system over another for your own crew. Uh, there are other systems on the market. This is just three that are popular in our area. We do see a lot of ICF installer crews that have more than one system in their tool belt. And what that lets them do is combine different types of bracing in order to come up with creative solutions for unique problems.